Snakes eat rodents, birds, frogs, and even quite large vertebrates. But even humans can end up in a snake's stomach. How is this possible? And what can happen to such unusual prey? Today's episode is all about that. You'll find out how one man was swallowed by a huge snake and be amazed by what happened to him next. Let's start. It all started when a man named Richard Harris decided to make some extra money. He was interested in an advertisement he found in the newspaper. It said that a large reward will be given for the capture of a large anaconda. However, Richard didn't pay attention to the fact that the statute of limitations of the offer had long expired. In any case, he decided to go to South America to find the very large snake. Before the trip, Richard studied blogs about snakes, learned a lot about the habits of snakes and so on. After gathering information and taking his boat and other things with him, Richard set off for South America. He began his search for the snake while in a boat in the river. At first, the journey went well, but suddenly one of the oars broke, injuring Richard's finger. At the same time, some river creatures started pushing and shoving his boat, eventually flipping it over. Richard nearly drowned, but still somehow made it out of the river to shore. Exhausted, he didn't know what to do next, but then out of nowhere, the very large anaconda appeared. The snake began to attack the potential victim, and then Richard decided to take the advice he had read on the blog and pretended to be dead. It only got worse because the anaconda began to swallow him. If the man had had a knife, which he had lost in the water while trying to swim, he might have been able to do something, but without a weapon, it was almost impossible to resist. The anaconda was much stronger and soon Richard lost consciousness from lack of air and intense pressure. By the time, he was already inside the snake. After a while, Richard woke up, lying on the ground. Trying to understand what had happened, how he'd gotten to this place, why he was alive and where the anaconda had gone, he looked around the area. There were traces of hair and skin and some remains all around. After assessing his surroundings, Richard realized that it all resembled the marks of a jaguar. It was the predator that had killed the anaconda, taking some of the snake with it as prey. Richard was incredibly lucky that the jaguar hadn't touched him and that the animal had butchered the anaconda so skillfully, saving him. Stunned by what had happened, Richard tried to get away as quickly as possible to where he would be safe. Miraculously, he got out of the dangerous place and made it home. Although this story sounds interesting enough, many people doubt it, pointing to a number of reasons why what allegedly happened to Richard couldn't have happened to him. And indeed, the story seems a bit far-fetched, but that doesn't mean that snakes aren't capable of eating people. Similar tragic and real cases have happened more than once in different parts of the world, but snakes can eat not only humans, sometimes they devour quite unexpected and strange things. Other animals do it too, so stay tuned. In the second part of the episode, I'll tell you about the strangest and most unusual things swallowed by animals. So we've figured out that a snake can eat a person, but what else is its appetite enough for? What about a blanket? And not just any blanket, but an electric one. You think that's crazy? But Carl Biznowska would disagree with you. A few years ago, his exotic pet, a huge Burmese python named Houdini, gobbled up an electric blanket with heating that was in its enclosure. Carl had put it there so the python wouldn't freeze at night. While Carl slept, Houdini ate the blanket. Experts later estimated that it took about six hours for the four-meter-long snake to swallow the blanket, along with the wires and remote control. Miraculously, did the snake unplug the wire and thus save itself from a discharge that would have killed it? After discovering the blanket was missing, Carl realized what was going on and took Houdini to surgery. The vets performed an operation for two hours, during which the snake was incised at about 45 centimeters. Fortunately, everything ended well. The blanket was removed and the omnivorous python quickly recovered. Not surprisingly, the snake was named after Houdini. The python performed a vanishing magic trick just like the legendary illusionist did. A man, check. A blanket, check. What else do snakes eat? Well, for example, tongs. The story took place in 2015. Australian Aaron Rose, owner of a pet python named Winston, wanted to feed his pet a rat by holding it with barbecue tongs. Suddenly, Winston's grip on the tongs seized up and he wouldn't let go. Rose decided to leave it alone for a while, but when he returned, the tongs had disappeared. The python had swallowed them. Aaron immediately took the pet to the University of Adelaide 
famous for its pet rescue center. According to Oliver Funnell, the university veterinarian, at first he didn't believe that the small python had swallowed the tongs whole, but just looking at the snake made it obvious. Winston's body had literally taken the form of a foreign body. Although snakes are great at belching out objects, Winston clearly had no intention of doing so. Perhaps the sharp edges of the tongs were irritating its esophagus and preventing its muscles from contracting properly. At first, the medical team was going to remove the tongs using endoscopy, but eventually, fearing internal damage, removed them during a surgery. Surgery was successful, and Aaron promised to be more attentive to his pet in the future. Coins Let's move on to another reptile, a turtle named Bank from Thailand. Have you figured out why they call it that? That's right, it was famous for eating coins. And I'm not talking about a couple coins or even a couple dozen coins. A few years ago, 915 coins were extracted from the stomach of this 25-year-old female turtle. That's almost 5 kilograms of metal. It's hard to imagine how the reptile managed to swallow that many coins, and even harder to imagine how it felt carrying such a heavy load inside. The vets who performed the surgery said that it was the first such case in their practice. Fortunately, Bank was saved, all the coins were removed, and the turtle was returned to the zoo. It was there that it swallowed the coins. And the reason simple. Many tourists, following the belief to throw coins into tanks with turtles to return to Thailand, and locals throw money to these animals hoping for longevity. The turtles don't understand that the coins can't be eaten and swallow them. Unfortunately, in the case of Bank, everything ended badly. Although the reptile was saved, it soon got worse and died from complications. Hair Bands and Not Only If your hair bands and other small items keep disappearing from your home, don't blame it on ghosts. It's quite possible that your pet is eating them up. Especially that's possible if you have a dog. Dogs tend to eat whatever they can, and a Labrador named Tiki is a case in point. This dog from Pennsylvania began to feel bad, and then its owner, Sarah Weiss, took her dog to the hospital. The dog wasn't responding to medication for vomiting, diarrhea, and loss of appetite, and x-rays showed some mass in its stomach. It was decided to perform surgery. The vets were shocked by what they saw in the stomach of the four-legged patient. There were 62 hair bands, eight pairs of underwear, and a bandage. How do you like that? No wonder Tiki was sick. It must be hard to live with that kind of weight inside you. By the way, another thing that surprised me in this story was that Sarah Weiss had 62 hair bands in her house. Why do you think she had so many? Okay, hair bands are okay, but dogs can swallow even more dangerous things. Knives, for example. The next animal of this episode, a three-month-old Staffordshire Bull Terrier named Macy, swallowed a knife. Its owner, Irene Paisley, sounded the alarm and took her dog to the vet when it started whining. At first, Irene thought that the dog had swallowed its toy, but soon the vets shocked her. Moreover, they were shocked themselves when they saw the big kitchen knife inside Macy's body using the x-ray. They had to perform surgery immediately. Fortunately, everything was successful. The knife was removed and Macy made a quick recovery. Doctors said Macy was saved by pure luck. The bull terrier had managed to swallow the knife with the handle forward, which saved it from serious internal organ damage. Plastic and Metal Many people think that plastic is dangerous only for marine animals. It floats, marine animals take it for food, swallow it, and die. They do. But plastic is no less dangerous to land animals. A seven-year-old bull named Nandi from India knows this firsthand. A few years ago, locals noticed something was wrong with Nandi. It started arching its back a lot and also felt sluggish. The locals took it to a veterinary hospital where Nandi underwent surgery. It turned out that the bull was arching its back for a reason. Its stomach had accumulated so much trash that it was starting to press on its organs. In general, the vets extracted 85 kilograms of plastic waste and metal parts, including nails, from Nandi's stomach. Yikes! The vets concluded that Nandi had been ingesting plastic for six or seven years. That's too long. In the case of plastic, it gets clogged up in the body and becomes impossible to extract it naturally. One good thing is the surgery was successful, and Nandi has begun to recover. That's all, guys. What's the strangest thing your pet's ever eaten? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you later.